guys, we just got our pad thai. So we decided to do a little mukbang while we're, we're here. We're a little mukbang and chit chat with you guys. Don't judge me on how much sriracha I put on. We're gonna talk about an update with relationships. Okay guys? Our heads may be chopped off a little. Our heads are gonna be a little chopped off. Our torsos are like giraffes. So, it's okay. But what we're gonna do today is we're gonna tell you guys about everything relationships 101. So that we know, that we don't know, and just our advice from experiences and stuff for you guys. We just thought it'd be fun to talk about relationships, so let's get into relationship 101. So what's our number one tip? Number one tip is you have to trust your partner. And if they betray you partner. and show you you can't trust them, you need to leave out the first signs of that because I promise you, most of the time it will never get better. My number one piece of advice is to, for me personally, don't ever like let anybody change you. Like don't let the person you're with, they should like build you up and encourage mm -hmm. you, your own personality and like how you are. Don't ever let anyone change you. And if you feel like you're being changed or you don't know yourself anymore, run for your life. Been there, done that in past relationships. They want you to be like good, but they want you to be like a bad bitch, and they want you to be sweet, and they want you to be all these things at once. You physically can't be everything. Don't try to change one. So, okay, don't try to change someone and don't expect them to change because people only want to change when they want to change for themselves, but they will never change for anyone else unless they genuinely see a problem or want to change their actions. So don't make the mistake and be like, oh, if I get them to love me or not, or if I do this for them, or if I do this for them, or if I show them this loyalty, or if I do this to them, they'll have to do that back, you know, they'll change, you know. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work out like that, okay? Why would you get bit by a snake, then go back to the snake and ask it why it bit you? No, you would go get help, and you would never go back to that snake. Okay, here's another tip for you guys. If they're like acting a certain way, or they're being a certain, showing the same behaviors over and over again, don't think, on top of what Crystal's saying, don't think it's ever gonna change. If they're doing that like months into the relationship and it's like it's kind of part of their character, they're not gonna change unless they're ready to change or they want to change. You can't and they change might them. not ever change. Like they might not ever see problems with their actions. And it's you're not it's not your job to mother them. Mm -mm. Or even in guys, it's not your job to be a father to them. <laughs> like it's not your job to parent your partner. Mm -hmm. and try to show them or get them to be a better person mm -hmm. because they they may go their whole life not seeing a problem with what they're who they are what they do or how they hurt people so and on top of hurting people hurt people hurt people just mm -hmm. remember that yeah if someone even not even like relationship like dating wise but if someone in your life is treating you bad or they're treating other people bad just realize that it's all a reflection of what's going on inside ourselves. I know you guys have heard this a million times, it's super cliche, but hurt people do hurt people. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can I can account for that because I used to be a little bit of a bully. Um, you kind of pick on the weaker link and I realized after like being out of that relationship that wow, I was actually being a BI. And I learned my lesson and learned a lot of things that I needed to change and took accountability for that. But just remember that hurt people hurt people. Try not to take anything too serious. If people treat you like crap, just know it's coming from their own insecurities. From someone who's actually done it before. You know? Mm -hmm. We're just kind of just coming out of our heads right now. We didn't plan anything. We just saw the camera with food. So, this is all just going to be really random advice. But I hope you take okay. it some of it. Red flags. What are some red flags? How they we're going to be their, red or we're going to be okay. green. For when how they treat their family and friends. If they don't treat How their they friends treat their mom? or their parents, or they lie to their family, or they lie to their friends that they've known longer than you, why would you expect them to be loyal and not lie to you? Just think about that. Mm -hmm. Also, red flag, um, over-sexualizing women for men. That's a red flag for me. If they like going to the strip club, don't think just when you start dating them, they're gonna stop. They're just gonna hide it. Um, that is so true. Red flags, um, hiding their phone, like, or not being on their phone when they're around you, or like turning their phone when you're around them. Like, if you first start dating them and they're kind of being sneaky with their phone, no. That means they're probably talking to other people, or they're doing things that they don't want you to see. And I don't think you should, I personally don't think you should date 
unless you are ready to like be open and honest and have nothing to hide. I think another red flag would also be like boundaries if they don't respect your boundaries. Yeah. Like if something bothers you and they just laugh in your face or oh, just don't take it serious no. at all and think that you're being insecure or just like it's stupid and it doesn't matter. Just realize like that's not okay. Even if we don't agree with it, just try your best. Because if you love this person or you care about them a lot, you should be able You'll to- You'll want to try and change your yeah. bad behaviors. So but it's something you can work on and it's not anything like too crazy. Yeah, but don't change or you can change, but don't be working on yourself if they're not working on yourself. <laughs> then you're gonna grow apart, just saying. Or I mean, try it and maybe like, just trust your intuition and see what happens, but you're the only one changing and being a like a really good or great partner and they're not then mm. run for those there's a lot of red flags lying is a red flag lying if they lie if they're a pathological liar they're gonna keep lying mm -hmm. um lying's a big one obviously cheating that's a big one and if they've been a cheater in the past just be warned you've been forewarned they're not probably gonna change um, unless I really don't it believe takes a lot. I really do believe in once a cheater always a cheater Because once you do something like that once it's easier to do it again. Yeah, and if you've done it multiple times to your part past partners So that's definitely a red flag Not being able to communicate with them is kind of a red flag I mean, it's not easy because for me personally, I'm not really good at competition at all But you have to be able to communicate in a relationship Otherwise, everything's gonna be left unsaid or left unresolved and it's just not good So make sure you always know how to communicate or try to work on communicating and if you have to kind of change like change the way you think a little bit and try to like learn how they want to be treated and the way that they understand things just try your best to maybe what is the what is the word i'm looking for compromise sometimes you have to compromise your own feelings or like ideas of certain things and how they should be for the person you're with if you care about them try to understand things from another person's point of view and don't be stubborn I'm not putting, I'm not saying this is anyone that I know personally, I'm just saying I've seen it in relationships, I've been this way, don't be, don't be too stubborn, that's all I can say. And stubborn doesn't mean also having to compri compromise your morals, so you guys are that. If they're like, like literally my ex was like, Oh, why are you, why don't you like strip clubs? Like my ex is all went to strip clubs with me. Like you should like strip clubs. Like you should have fun at them. No, I'm not gonna compromise and go to strip clubs when I don't think that's okay in a relationship. Mm -hmm. So it also depends on boundaries guys. Some people are okay with that though. So it just depends on your own personal boundaries. You've gone to them, so. Oh, I'm usually drunk though. I would say another red flag is when they make comments about like your physical appearance. Like your weight gain mm -hmm. or your weight loss or just some things that you really like can't really control that are kind of natural parts of your body, especially being a woman. Yeah. Poking at you. I really think it's a little rude, like if you gain like five pounds and they're like, Oh, you've gained weight since I've met you. And it's like five pounds. No. No. <laughs> That's actually healthy to me, probably. Yeah. And that probably just means you're comfortable with them. Mm -hmm. But yeah, just stuff like that. Like they shouldn't comment on it. Or make you even think or have to doubt yourself or your body. They need to love you for you because you love them for them. And I'm sure they're not perfect either. 100%. And this is kind of off topic a little bit. But another thing to just kind of watch out for as a woman or a man, either whoever's watching this right now, is to trust your instincts. Your instincts literally will like always steer you right. Your intuition. Whether, yeah, your intuition. Whether you want to believe it or not, your intuition is always telling you something. Let me tell you. Most of the time, I don't trust my intuitions because I don't want it. But it comes back around at one point, and then you're like, oh, wow. I wasted all this time by pushing my intuition away. Or what other people, like people you care about and love, what they think about your relationship, no, you don't have to take it like fully to count, but if they know you're not in a healthy relationship and they're just trying to help, listen, maybe just listen to them. Don't like, even if you don't want to. Don't push them away. Don't listen to people that are obviously are maybe jealous of your relationship or jealous of what you but have. you can and know then, those kind of people. Yeah. Do you also know if you're in a healthy relationship or not? You do know that, mm -hmm. even if you want to admit it or not. And so if the people around you see that you're in an unhealthy situationship or relationship and they're telling you stuff out of love, listen. 
100%. I've had, I know when people are telling me stuff out of love and I know when they're not. Usually it's just Courtney. I'm not gonna lie, it's usually only been her who tells me things that I can actually listen to and trust and it's coming from a place of love. Mm -hmm. It's hard to trust people, but. And I have one other, one other friend that I genuinely believe is coming from a place of love. That's it. A little bit for you. That's it. Other people usually have some ultimatum, something they're gonna get out of something. But if it's family usually and you're super close, they haven't hurt you, then usually you can trust them or friends. Yeah, but also we could but don't listen to random opinions. Also, because that can that can that can get in your head. Exactly. You meet a friend, and all of a sudden she's like, "Oh, f him, cheat on him, do this, do that to him." No, I would never suggest any of this. Don't ever listen to this. We're just people. giving you random tips too, guys, from like what we've seen or know. <laughs> this is me just coming out of a relationship, and also my past relationships and what I'm I've learned. Joke. <laughs> yeah. Courtney even choked because she's just, you know, she's learned so much. You guys ever choke on onions, it. like the stringiness of them? I choked on my noodle 10 times during this video, but I've played it off. Okay, let's move on though, because we could talk about red flags in relationships for a minute. Let's go to green flags. Um, Honesty. Literally just being honest. Even if they, you screw up, be honest. Literally be honest. Learn to be transparent about it. Mm-hmm. You messed up. I make mistakes in relationships. Be honest and tell the person right away. Don't hide it. It's gonna come out eventually, and it's gonna be ten times worse when it comes out mm -hmm. if it's like a secret. Forever. So, They're never gonna trust you again. So honesty, okay? Honesty. They're an honest person. We love that. Mm -hmm. Also, how they treat people, how they treat servers. They treat servers nice. Green flag. Mm -hmm. If they treat customer service nice, homeless green flag. Homeless people. Mm -hmm. Homeless people. They treat homeless people kind. Green flag. Um. Even customer service calls, like phone calls with people they don't know. Green flag if they treat them the first way. Mm -hmm. um, how they treat their parents. If they cuss out their parents daily or weekly or whatever, no. So but they if they're people. kind to their mother, their dad, or whoever family in their life, friends in their life. So, so far the green flag is just treating people good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What's another one? Have they cheated in the past, I would say. That's a Not good a one. Cheater. Has a good track record on cheating. Hasn't done yeah. it before. I feel like everyone might, have, you know, in a relationship. Sometimes when you're with someone for a long time, I know thoughts. I mean, it depends out, on what the cheating is. It mm -hmm. really actually does. Like, if they're like, oh, I did make out with someone, or I did kiss someone one time. That's also self control. Having good yeah. self control. And if they were younger, trend. or when the age was, or who the person was, it depends on the situation. But if they were just in like a good relationship, or just like been with the person for a while and they just like completely cheated on them and like had an affair or even like had well, like you know more than making out then I would yeah. I would watch your back with that so person. having a clean track record on being loyal to your partner is yeah. a big green flag yeah I would say on the lighter note being funny having a sense of humor uh, can I make you laugh I, I seriously love. think if so I was with someone who could just make me laugh all the time like I would be like so much, like I'd be just so content. <laughs> like, so like compatibility is also like if you have similar yeah. traits, similar humor. That's a green flag. If you guys have like similar, similar humor. humor. Yeah, because if they're funny to everyone around you, everyone's laughing at them, but you don't have the same humor and you're never laughing about their jokes, that's not really. <laughs> or their jokes are just like. Or their jokes are like funny. kind of bizarre, or jo maybe they're like their jokes are like putting hurtful. you down or mm -hmm. hurtful. Not a green flag, but if they're genuine, you have the same humor and you can laugh and take things lightheartedly, green flag. So you know, don't always think opposites attract. Okay. Also, I think way more we're thinking opposites attract, and that's why we get in bad relationships. But really, it's what we have in common with people, and. If we both, have, you know, you have both have genuine hearts, genuine love for each other, you know, you can yeah. make each other laugh. You can make a bad day a good day. Like that's what really. Mm, matters. Optimism is a very good trait. Oh, very. Have. Yeah, optimistic. Okay. I love. In a relationship, when they are optimistic and you're having a bad day, but they can like kind of, you know, make sure. things seem better and it's real more positive. So we should probably ask for it to go boxes. Okay, guys. Our phone okay, so is we done. ran out of storage, but. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for watching. Um, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Give us any video suggestions down below that you would like to um, see from us. Any yeah. mukbangs or any topics, relationship advice. Yeah, or any topics you guys just want to hear from us. Please do. Let us know down below. We love you guys. Thank you for you. almost 
3,000 subscribers, guys. That's amazing. Yo, we're growing our little We're CC growing. Fam. We love you guys so much, and thanks for just being on this journey with us. I know we're taking breaks in between, but we're back now, we'll be and we're planning to be like this time we're planning to be freaking on top of it on top of it and yeah. motivated and motivated and everybody ready for you guys out. to see more of our lives <laughs> yeah so. so love you guys and love we'll you. see you in the next video bye